Hello everybody and welcome to Steve4K. Today I will be talking about mods and in particular the latest update that was released by Bethesda on the 10th of February 2017. Now with this update came an uh, alteration to the mods page. Um, and in the alteration to the mods page, we have had a change to a cap on the amount of downloads you're allowed to have. So on PS4, you're allowed 100 downloaded mods active, and on Xbox One, you're allowed 150. And I believe on PC, you're allowed around 275. Now, it's not so much that there is a cap on it as there is that they never announced the cap it was just quietly slipped in and nothing was said or announced about it at all nobody knew about it there's been many many tweets about it people are saying that they've got so many megabytes available of download space but yeah they can't download any more mods or they can't activate any more mods so, basically what I want to talk about today is, basically was it right for Bethesda to do so? In my opinion, it wasn't. They should have said something before they went and did it. Because there's a lot of people that are having to get rid of certain mods or having to disable certain mods because they just don't have the space for it. Now, me, myself, I initially went onto the mod page and noticed that I had 120 active mods out of 100. Now, I would presume if I start cutting back on those mods or disabling them, that would put me to that 100 cap. So, currently, I can't activate any more mods whatsoever. Doing so will ruin my game. So, I've got a number of unlock settlement object mods, I've got a number of um, unified clothing mods, um, I've got patch fixes, uh, what else have I got? I've got, you know, the odd making ammo on, or the odd adding extra turrets into the game, or vendor rugs, or a lot of mine settlement based, but if I go getting rid of them, then me personally that ruins my game now what i need well you know this is a discussion for the comments um basically what is everybody else's opinion of this what are they happy with the decision that bethesda have made or would they have liked to have had a little bit of an announcement um before you know bethesda went and spat this out um they seem to have announced the you know 4K texture packs for the Pro. Um, and I think that's all they really said apart from bugs and fixes. They never really openly said, right, mods are now capped at, you know, you know, 100 or 80 or whatever they, you know, decided. So, very sly by Bethesda. I ain't particularly happy with it. I presume a lot of other people won't be particularly happy with it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it down to the comment section now about people's thoughts, opinions, um, other little discussions. Please do subscribe to the channel. Um, comment below. Um, I will put out, I, I will put a link down in the description below to uh, the tweet that Bethesda put out stating all this. And, um, yeah, um, I've had my kind of mini rambly rant about that. Um, I'll leave it to you in the comments below now. So please 
like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.